talk about the homework. So assignment, you have this tab, right? And who can guess what this app's about? Is it movie Great. stuff? What what yeah. app is it similar to compared to what we wrote earlier? Netflix. It's similar to Netflix? What else is it similar to? Maybe it's similar to Instagram. You see all these as posts. Yeah. So you start to see that, oh, maybe Instagram, you also have a table view that just show you all the posts, right? With the pictures, you tap on it, you see more pictures. Maybe it's similar to Netflix because maybe you search uh, the API, like, you know, list of movies and thumbnails. Okay, what, um, now it's a little slow this time. Uh, we'll follow the instruction here, but I'll, I'll walk through how we would do um, creating a new project from scratch. And through that, we will uh, discuss what are the, the things to avoid, okay? All the problems we may have. Okay, so I'm going to create a new project. My Xcode navbar is not over there, so... Um, all right. So most of the time in our class, you only care about this one. So feel free to follow along if you want. And uh, remember to ask questions, right, along the way. So I'll, I'll start by clicking a single view, uh, choosing a single view application. And we're going to call this app uh, Flix. That's our homework. That's how you start. You can go home and do it tonight. And organization name, you notice that just like these things, you can set it once and you forget about them. Uh, it could be your company name, your personal domain name. This will just be writing it by words. So from Java and other world, like, it's probably sim similar. Now, we don't need any of these. Uh, a lot of the apps in our curriculum care about the API, um, you know, back end. So, so that, you know, all these apps that you guys talk about, most of them actually use an API in the back end, with the exception of, you know, notes, uh, and in some thinking, local storage, but a lot of them is just API stuff. So, including Lossy. So then, Core data is like storing to SQLite database, um, you know, on, on the, um, the phone storage. We don't care about that yet. We're not learning tests yet, so this will make your app faster by turning them all off. So let's name it Flix. Um, it may be easier for some. If you're really good at Git, then feel free to just go to the terminal and, and do it yourself. Git init. It's a very good habit. But here, uh, for some, it's just easier. Just click on create a new git repository and add it to github later great so let's build something like this right and i'm going to start right away by going to the storyboard with xcode um from from like i think i was eight onwards you start getting this square thing and some of you may not like it right i think it's quite hard to see uh, first thing we're going to do is, please, in your homework, don't do auto layout. Just do uh, regular stuff. It's called the, um, uh, what is it called? Um, it's called struts and something. I forgot the, the, um, the words. But I'm going to turn off, yeah, I'm going to turn off uh, auto layout. So I forgot the term, but yeah. So this is the size classes. Once we turn it off, it will default to the, one size. This is, do you know what phone size this is? I have to change, change it to 5S. So that's the size and dimension of the 5S. Usually that's the easiest for you to start. And if you build the project now, okay, most we all here, it's a blank screen, command one, two, three, four. Let's, let's choose this, this is the right size. Right, let's start building by adding a table view. So we're going to present the list of movies in a table, right? And how you put on this, in week two onwards, you use auto layout. But here I put right under the battery, and I cover the whole thing. So it's all snapping in. Now, after we have a table, what do we do? We add a cell to it, right? Well, before, even before I add a cell to it, if I render, if I save and render, 
I should get the if, if I'm right I'll get this uh, the lines but I'm not there yet because the code we need the code to tell it to use a table so remember um, the project view this one I'm going to delete the view controller usually it's it's there but we will move this to trash and create something more meaningful we name it all right new file most of the time it's source coca Koga touch, all right? So UI view controller. So we do it movies view view controller. And now in the storyboard, we group that with this table. Uh, we associate this view controller. It used to be view controller, but now we have to set it to movies view controller. The reason we do that. So after this pairing you are able to get automatic right, code association between the storyboard and, and the, and the um, dashboard here. All right, so next is to tell it to, we tie this table, control click on table view, and drag it over. So we have a table view variable, and you do this constantly. Uh, there's a better way to separate it out um, you are called uh, extension but for, for now we do it um, UI UI table view data source and UI table view delegate so these two are called I'm sorry for the, the size all right these two are called protocols they define certain methods public and uh, methods that you have to implement. So after you do this, it will complain that it does not conform to the protocol UI table view data source. So we command click on this. So with iOS, it's mainly error driven development, right? You cannot remember everything, so you just follow what Xcode tell you. So I'll copy the two main methods. When you do table view, you start remembering this. You tell the table view how many rows to display and then what's in each row. What's in each row is called a cell. Usually you have a table and cell, you know, column and row, but here you don't have column really, but it's just rows. So I have these two methods. I copy this, uh, you can use this button or you swipe back to the previous function, which is now in movies view controller and let's paste it here. Let me just uh, get the whole movies view it's easier to see down here. I just copy this method. I have to overwrite it. Well, I have to implement it. Funk table view number of rows in section. For some of you, Swift is still interesting, like you know, new. So don't worry too much. You'll get used to it soon. It requires returning a number. If I don't, you start seeing an error soon. Next, I have to implement this met method as well. That's the function. All right. So how many rows do we want at the table? I, I return twenty. And then here I'll return a cell. Notice it requires a cell. So let's say if I do a cell as, I don't have any cell, but I'm going to create one UI table view cell. And let's just see this cell is going to be a hello text. And then we return the cell. So notice that we introduce a t table view from the storyboard tied to this. You see this. Uh, it's an outlet. You see this um, icon here, and then we have to tell the controller to use tab data source is tied to self and table view delegate self. So now, if I build this magically, it will load the table from. You see each row right here, all right? Some funny stuff is happening because the computer is using a lot of uh, running a lot of programs and such. Now we have to touch talk about this memory leaks. So I'm going to print, this is more interesting, cell for row at index path, right? So technically, imagine every time you scroll, how many rows do you see on the screen? Anyone fast? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a lot to, to count. So I'm gonna just, just, maybe I'll do this, right? Row, this index path dot row, okay? And then let's print the same thing row index path dot row okay so this is 
an important part of lecture one is to understand how Apple does um, the table view. Look at that. So we have 12. How many can we see here? Mm, well, 12. Technically, you can see 11 on the screen, right? And then there's one up there and one down here. And Apple only need to remember that. And every time you scroll some more, like look, I just went to 13. It just create more. Now, note what happens if I scroll up? Do you think if I scroll up, right, it will start loading and create this, calling this function to get these cells again. So if you see this, you see that, oh, that's ridiculous. Every time I scroll, I get a new cell. I shouldn't do this. Okay, so there's a way to do it. We call a, we have to tell the storyboard. Let's go to the storyboard. And let's create a thing called um, table view cell. So it's, it's called a cell prototype. It's like you know a, a container, and you can start doing things with it. You, you look at this thing on the left, right? This is quite tricky. It's useful. So if you click here, that's the cell. You click here, it's inside the cell. So what I want is I have to name this cell something. Identifier. Reuse identifier. So I know name this movie cell. All right? So now I have a name for the cell. Notice I have it has to be where the cell is, not inside. And I'm going to movies view controller. Whoops, not there. Uh oh. Uh okay, so that's movie cell identifier. So let's go to movie views controller. And here you do this all the time. So become memory. DQ, reusable cell with identifier. All right, so this is become every time you do the same thing, you want to get that cell, you just change the content. All right, so for index path, easy, that's guessable. And then, now here, right, we're going to do this, but every time now, it just reuse a cell. It doesn't create a new, you know, new one, new cell. But, so it's, so the effect is it's the same, but now let's do something more interesting. Let's load the movie titles to these cells. So let's let's run first. All right. So technically, this is smoother because it's reusing cell. And please do not do the the earlier method. Now next is in homework. We say we load all these latest data from somewhere. It's from the network. All right, so we're using the movies, uh, the movie database API, and don't be uh, shy when you get all this link about documentation. Right, all we do most of the time is reading documentation, uh, so you know there will be links here and you can read about it. So I cheat, right? I I have the link right here. What we want is to make this app load this API call, okay? And basically, we already create an API key. You can create an account and get another one. And you get all the movies who, that are being played right now. Great. So what if I can query this, right? And then I get this data. And I present to the, to the view. So to do that, as a start, you actually, I'm going to copy and paste this code so we can move faster. But I'll explain them. Uh, after you load the, the view, in here, right? Do any additional setup after loading the view. You're gonna load the data. So I'm gonna call a function fetch movies. Well, we don't have fetch movies yet. Let's just add it. Func fetch movies. And here, I'm gonna copy and paste. So the API key, you can get it from a diff, an external file. You can get it somewhere, but right now, let's just hard code it in. Here's the URL, right? NS, so you start to see all these class names. NS something, NS URL, and this. Um, who knows what NS is? Next step. Next step, yeah. So this is from 1980s, right? We're still using something designed from 1980s. So uh, from Objective C, and Swift has a new, uh, many new classes, but for these purposes, NS works perfectly and uh, it works better. So string, you. Turn it into a URL. We all know how to do this by now. This is pi uh, extrapolate the variable in, in there. So a request, technically there's a simpler form. You don't have 
is the default cache and timeout. But here is this to be very clear. You see, I will create a request and create a session. And here's something that's done in a different thread, right? So it's defined here, and we create this task. What the task does is that you can actually call this session to run from the URL. But we're running from a request so that you can have more customization here. And after it's completed, right, we get this, a response. And if we are lucky, this response dictionary, notice it's an S dictionary, uh, Swift has dictionary, but that's different. Uh, and that's, that's going to be this, okay, if we're lucky. So if I run this, right, it's going to call fetch movies after the table view has loaded. And it call down here after defining the task, it run this. So I'm going to call run this. Do you think we will get the data? Yeah? Well, almost, right? It say, oh, something fails. So this is from Xcode 7 onwards and iOS 9. Uh, they have one problem. They want to make it very safe for you. Uh, so you have to find all this, you have to find this setting, and it say, we have to tell the app that it's okay to load from all this, you know, a different domain name, and it's over HTTP if you want. This is an HTTPS, but it's still complain. So this is like from a different domain name, it's from like, you know, allow loading from anywhere, right? From this app to load from uh, Rotten Tomato API, this, this domain name, right? Okay, well, how do we do that? So in, in a project, there's this info, info list. The two ways you can edit this file. This is the key and value, right? You can, if you like the XML format, you can open as source code. That's easy. Just go down here and copy and paste this in, right? You can just copy and paste this in. If you don't want to open it as, if you want it safer, it's a property list. P list is property list. You use it in Mac. I just create a new one. And then app transport security. Oh. Like this one. And then within this, you have to open this and click here. Let's say if you don't have internet and you don't know how to Google, you just find this app. Let's turn this into yes. It's very hard to type, uh, to click on it. All right, so let's try running this again. Excellent, so we get this, right? Now, but this is hard to see, so we're going to cheat by looking at it in Chrome. If you haven't, you install a Chrome extension. It's linked in the homework so that it's just easier to see this. So now let's see. If I load this code and the first thing I have is page one and results, I don't really care about page and everything else. I'm just, I just care about result. So let's look at the results. This guys, we have to start somewhere. Response dictionary results, right? Where do I store it? Right. Let's start to a variable over here, right? Yeah, in the controller. We'll call it movies. Yeah, so it's maybe movies. What type of it is this variable? Enter. It's an array. Awesome, it's an array. What's in it? So let's look at it. The first one is this curly thing. Every time you see this curly braces, it is, you can call it a hash, but in here we call it a dictionary, right? So it's in dic dictionary. So in, if you really want to play with Swift and you can actually define and you know play with dictionary from string to string and everything, but if you want your life to be simpler, you can also just try that. Now, sometimes we don't, the API fail and everything, so we, we use optional, right? We use it a lot. Optional here means movies can be null or an array of dictionary. All right, so it, it's complaining. It has no initializer. So I'm gonna, I think I have to tell it, uh, let's, let's see, should I do var here? Okay, I'll, I'll set this over here first. So we have that, self.movies equals, right? And then it complains, we'll just, again, we just read the we read the, the, the data, right? So we change it to var. Did it already change? 
right? So self.movies, we need self because this is in a closure, right? This is in the function right here, this is a closure. So you need self to refer to the parent scope. And I don't understand why this, uh, I think X code is being funny. Okay. All right, so it's saying casting. It's another thing that X, uh, Swift is beautiful, right? Of course, uh, a lot of things in Objective-C is still beautiful, um, but here, you just have to explicitly tell it what it is, right? So I cast this to be, notice before I cast this, you can come option click on this to see the data. Right now it's confused, so I'm gonna assign it as a list of dictionary, right? It's what we expected. This looks good. So we have a dictionary. Let's just print it. We already printed. Let's just move faster. We what do we do with the dictionary now? Look, movies. After I have movies. Oh, now we have movies. Let's just fix our table, right? How many cells do I get? How many rows do I get? Length. Number of rows in section. Length. Movies dot length. Yeah. So Xcode also gets it. Count. Why do I have this question mark? Why do I have this question mark? Yeah? Yeah, it could be nil. So how do you do this in a shorter form? If sometimes you have to do this. If you cast it to a non-optional type, then you return movie.count. Uh, this is unique as everywhere. And then else you return zero, right? There's a faster way. Who knows the faster way? It's count, but it could be null, so you just do it zero, right? So it's the same. Okay, so that's zero. So it means down here, when I look at any row, row number one, it means I have more than one row. So I can be sure that when I do this, it exists, right? So I have movies. So if I movie index path dot row, it exists. So let's do that. Let's do that. Let movie equal, right? So that's more exciting. Let's just cast this movie. Title. How do we get the title though? What is this movie? This guy, right? We have to cast it to something. What do I cast it as? Dictionary. And then what is a title? Movie. Title. Yeah? Are we that lucky? Where's the title? Oh, we are very lucky. So it's called title. Great. So now I can just do that and it looks, why is it still erroring? If you don't cast, it doesn't know what type it is, so it's say any object. So you can do any string or string. In this case, it's okay. They're the same. This, you know, Swift or not. Okay, so apparently you need to do string. Oh, uh, right? Okay, why is it not showing? We have, we've been, does, does iPhone, like Apple know when to reload the table? No, right? Because down here it load, but like, oh, this is running in the byte thread. I don't know. So you have to call table view. Reload data, right? I think this is getting exciting because we have all the movies right now. So this is the best movie. Go and see it. Uh, maybe. I haven't seen it. So now we need to show more than this. Let's show description as well. Let's go overview. How do we do that? Let's make the cell more useful. Let's go to the dashboard. Uh, what do you call it? Storyboard. And in here, let's make the content a little bigger. Open this Docker down here. This is the most beautiful thing. You just search. Can you do this in Android? It's not as easy, right? Like just search for, I, I want a label. Okay, within this guy, usually if you do that, it's like 8 pixel up there, 8 pixel here, it's kind of nice. Um, what do you call this? This is a movie title. And then for this guy, let's just drag it all the way. One line, right? That sounds good. One way to create the overview, I option click this guy and drag down that, copy it, right? All right. That's, our app is not very smart. We'll just give it this width. And we're going to call it overview. And here, if you set it to zero lines, it's automatic. right? It goes and 
overflow um, to the next line. Excellent. So we need to do something with this guy, right? We have to assign the value to it. So here's where I open this again. Notice the movie cell stuff over here. Let's create a class called movie cell. Now we, when now we start having more things now, I'm going to create no, source. What type is it? Movie cell is actually table view cell. So it's similar just now, let cell equal you know, table view cell, but now we're going to call it movie cell. You can do this, but this is very long. So movie cell, don't create this. We'll learn it later. It means we don't need storyboard and we just have a, a zip file separately. Okay, we have this file. And then now the code looks a little bit like, oh, I have, you know, controller, model, or in, uh, views. So I'm going to create a view of different groups. For now, it's like I create a views group and view controller group, right? I'll just drag this guy in. They are the same, but now you can start having more controllers soon. soon. One controller, one screen. All right, so how do we make sure this goes there? It's going to tie this into the movie cell. So the trick is, so this one pay attention. Some of you, you if you're unlucky, you click on this, right? All right, so you click on this. That's good, movie cell, and you're going to tell it what class to use. It's very similar to view controller, movie view controller. So here, movie cell, all right? So next, you want to be able to Click this. So pay attention to this one. If it's really beautiful, right? Automatic, and now you can actually tie to movie cell. It has to be automatic. Remember, it's not manual. And you can drag this over, right? No, if you're unlucky, you click this. You cannot actually go to movie cell. And sometimes it's like, ah, oh, why is it happening? So click under this inside the cell. Okay. So let's click inside the cell. You know. So you can drag from here or here, up to you. But now I make sure I go to movie cell and I set this to title label overview label. And now we have to we can set this, right? You, let's go back to our movies view controller. Down where is it? Let's sell over here, right? Let cell equals blah blah blah. So I want to set this title label dot text equals. Wait, why is it not happening? Why can't I auto complete? This line is long, but you have to cast it, right? I know for sure it's movie cell. Sometimes you have more than one cell, um, more than one prototype. Movie cell is just one. You can cast it depending on the the index path. Maybe the even one, the odd one. It's different things up to you zero one two three four okay so now maybe right oh this is great right I can it's a label what's in the label view label why can't I set the text UI label. UI label so yeah well, why is it the wrong type UI view so let's click on it uh oh Let's go back to movie cell. Let's change it to your UI label. Okay, so let's go back to that file. All right, so we set this after. Okay, let's set this to title. And let's do the same thing for overview, right? Again, we're really lucky because this happens to be called overview. So over here, Overview, same. This will be overview label. This will be overview. So, the reason we do a lot of steps here is it's very easy for you to debug. You can check the type. So, when you're new, don't worry about writing more code. You know, writing be uh, readable code is better than short code. All right, so if I do that, right? Uh oh, let's look at the error. Some of you may be experienced, you catch this. Oh, you know, like I assign it and then, and then this is where you have to set it again. So my mistake, 
it's crashing because our somehow our uh, I think it could be the this is thinking is it's a title um, so it's right click on it what's happening there's no outlet yeah so we have to remove it right oh so much work for that and I I want to make sure there's no reference outlet here so there's, there's none so let's try again what happened so UI label here just maybe Xcode just like to punish me okay so not inside it will be overview label so be careful when it crash like that the it's because this is an XML file under it right and it yeah exactly so now wait why is it only that where's our overview uh oh what do you guys think right the height of the cell why is it like slow like that so I don't think there's anything wrong with the code if we go into the movies view controller right we DQ the cell we let the movie get the movie out why is it why is it warning here oh because it, it knows for sure right yeah this is it's a list right of, of dictionary I think that looks just fine uh oh uh, it happens because so I don't need this default text label thing you don't want to set that right that was just for fun this cell prototype you already create a new label title label overview label so that's where it is if you have a bug <laughs> that's what it is let's add a picture to it so look at this one where do we see the picture huh poster path okay great let's start doing it but we're gonna be we are going to be stuck because let poster path equal movie poster path as string is that so yes all right so we need something here right it's an image all right let's go to storyboard I'm excited go to storyboard let's move over what do I add here what do I add guys image view okay well so let's add the image view over here um, this is kind of hard to see you can click on the ruler and tell it to be some dimension maybe six three by four or so 60 80 oh it looks nice okay so it looks like that okay so maybe this a little bit longer uh, okay well that looks fine what else what next guys we have to open this guy right and drag this over right what do we call it image view no don't call it image view in a cell table view cell you remember we have like text label right there's another thing called image view so don't call it image view so we're gonna call it poster view so in, in Xcode you call things that's you know UI label you call it label so they call it the same name as this all right poster view so go back to the um, let's go to movies controller down here we can do cell dot image poster uh oh why is it not there so this is another problem right it's not there because you go back to that file no problem click on this you see that it's dark right click on it command s to save it it will bright become bright and then go back here so sometimes if your code is really slow you know it's like right save it become bright and go back I'll go back to this guy on oh, my double clicks opening a different window okay so let's go back to movies view controller down there let's sell here poster view dot what all right so well you're getting an image from the internet it may take some time right so in iOS in the, in the main thread here you don't want to do something that takes some time it's like one second two seconds in here so also it's hard 
it, it doesn't work like you can just do you know image it's like that so you can download the data similar to what we did over here send a request and then you get this binary thing and say like, oh wait, it's it's an image save it to this UI image I'm going to introduce you a, a, an easier way what if we have this thing called set image URL and then we just put, put poster part in it right yeah so that's my wish right so of course because people want that so people wrote that uh, uh, what's that co co coca pots is just one of the package managers system for you to include uh, li code libraries into your um, app all right so I, I I'm you I, I need to find the the thing that helps me do network call. So I'm gonna, I think one of the place is called, I mean, wantedly, right? It's here, you can go here, you can, you can search. Now this is the easiest one. If you type network, this, since this is for Swift only, this is very, and, this, uh, and you can use this if you want. This used to be the number one thing, it's like most popular in Objective-C and still good for Swift. And we'll use this for now, but it's really up to you, okay? So I click on this and this instruction, but it's really easy. You need CocoaPods install. So go install that, but we're going to create a pod file. Oh, here's something that, um, here's a tip, right? How do we create a pod file from here? You can do new pod file, but the right way is to go to the command line. I'm going to open terminal. Here's a trick for those who are not familiar with, uh, you know, terminal stuff. So I need to go to where this guy is, right? That's not easy. Where is it, right? So I can click right here, anywhere here, find, show in Finder. Sorry, it opens on this computer over here. I don't really care what's up here. And then go back to the terminal. I just go there, CD, right? Drag this over there, enter, right? Okay, well, let's list the file, LS. Okay, that's where we are. Let's see. Oh, I have pot install already. So you, if you don't, you have to do sudo gem install pot. If you use Ruby, then you just need, if you have multiple versions of Ruby like I do, this, it uses Ruby to manage um, the libraries, okay? So pot in it. All right, well, I need to find a project. So Xcode project not found. What's happening? I go too deep. So that's the Xcode project. So I go pot in it. All it does is that it create this pod file. And now you can also do this, open current place, open period, go back to finder. I have this pod file, drag it down to, my taskbar is not here, but I'm gonna drag it into the Xcode. Well, technically if you drag into Xcode, it will open the file, um, the app. But I can't drag, I'm gonna drag it to my, my Xcode. Like, you can also do it from here. All right, Xcode, where is it? Just anything will do, but don't use text edit. Do you see Xcode here? Never mind, it can be anything. Uh, let's do this. Uh oh, it's an old one. All right, we just need if, forget about it. Okay, I'm gonna open this right here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you open in Xcode. <laughs> okay, so uncomment this line, what we're using to platform, we use for shift. So uncomment this, and we are gonna include part uh, AF networking. We save this file, and then we do part. Is it part install? So part install can be really slow. There's another thing. If it happens to you guys, it's happened to a lot of people in the past. So that's why go to activity monitor, right? And then you go click on this network tab. And a lot of people asked this question before. You will see these guys. Network, and then search for Git. Right, and it's just like very slow. It's still loading. It gets stuck, and then you're like, okay, I give up. This is still very slow. So you're gonna kill this. You can also so kill this if you want. See, it's it's really stuck. Um, so I'm forced with this. All right. Oh, it looks like it was working. It's just super slow. Another way, I show this because a lot of people will run into this problem. You show this, do verbose. Notice this is gonna start loading sending it over the network so pretend that 
this eventually work, right? When it eventually works, it will look like, I will show you a different project. It will look like something I did earlier. It will look like this. It create a new file called XC workspace. And after you create a, a pod file, you never open this file again. You open this workspace file because it opened this workspace file, open the execute project file. Make sure you commit this file. In other cases, people put it in the wrong places. We cannot build the app. So you have to close the project. Let's pretend I already, this is so crazy, it's so slow, but I already finished and it's successful. I run this, I press enter on that Xcode project file, workspace file, sorry, and it looks like this, right? And here's why you need to read the documentation. It will tell you what the base URL is. Right? In some cases, it's different. Read it and in the homework. And then you just need to add it and turn it into a URL. Okay? And now you have this method, set image with URL. It's beautiful because now it's just remove the headache. But this library is too big. You just use it for this one purpose. It's kind of silly. So it's really up to you. Over time, it's not a problem. Use it here. For this homework, it's perfect. Now, you have that method because you import AF networking. You can import AF networking because you have this pod file. Right? After you have this pod file, you run pod install. It gives you a pod file.log file that just say, hey, always make sure you install pod file.log. I think it's not in the project. so. It, it just fixed what version is being used. And then you will, um, here's the log file, right? Can't preview it. All the access. Okay. Take a look at that one. Now let's see what happened after I just do that. It's, and then we can go home. I just did that. Set URL. So let's see. Let's run this. Boom. So it looks like that. When you go home, you, you, you learn more methods, in not just number of rows or what's in each row, but now you know what to do when you click on a row. Right? And then you create another controller, and then you show. Uh, give you the demo of what it looks like. I have another, pro I load a project that one student did. So open the, let me find, I'm trying to find it. All right, here's the project that's already did. So over time, you see you, you can create more group spaces and you have more many views and controller. And then some of you discussed this in the discussion, uh, group discussion, or oh, collection view, uh, the, the Netflix group. There's, oh, this is the list, list view, right? And now I'm going to run this um, project. This is what yours should look like, right? Try to implement the optional the search. It's in the title bar. Cancel out. You can you know, start searching, and that's you have to refresh the table, right? You have the tab bar. You can be clever. You can use the UI tab bar, or you can create it yourself. And you can do the collection view, uh, which is um, all the squares, you know, uh, rectangle stuff, right? It looks like cards, right? Grid, yeah, grid view. If you use the web. And here you can show more of that stuff, right? And these extra thing, grading and everything, is all from the API, right? So that's what it is. Uh, we conclude today's lecture. Um, start homework early, and when you come back, where's the lecture? When you come back here um, we'll, on Wednesday, we we'll do the lab. Feel free to read the lab beforehand. Just make sure when you come here, you have CocoaPod installed, please. Like, it takes a long time. <laughs> Pseudo gem install and then error and then make sure you understand Git. If you have a problem, contact us. Uh, we'll try to give some more guidelines on you know, how to use Git properly. Any question before we go? Questions? Yes. So, uh, yeah. Very good. Yeah, ex excellent question. So if the network breaks before you load it for the first time, you just say network error, you cannot do anything. So you have to think about that, how to show network error. If you load it 
and then next time the network is out, hmm, I can load it from cache. So that's where in your request, you can tell it for the cache policy. Load if not already, you know, load from internet if, if not uh, already cache. So there are some policies for you to look into. So it, it's under these, uh, you know, um, additional and optional features here. Yeah? Good question. What's your name again? Three, right? Three more, right? Yeah, got it. Yeah? Any question? Yes? HTTP, well, you, it cannot handle, like, internet problem? Yes. Why the service return the HTTP error cost? Mm-hmm. It cannot handle the HTTP. Very good question. Actually, I think set image with URL, you, it, it loads from cache. So that's a default. So you, you can turn off the internet now and you run it. Probably, and the error actually will be the title and the, the other ones. Um, I think it, it's clever, but at the same time, when you work on your code, you start to do more interesting thing than just uh, this code. You know, this is where the magic of loading the data and caching it, right? You can set the uh, cache policy. There's a hint in the homework for the entire app. Yeah, you can set it in, uh, we haven't talked about this, but in App Delegate, no, notice um, after you open the workspace, in App Delegate, this is very important, it's the life cycle of an app. You can actually declare here, app did finish launching, don't worry about it yet, but you, you start like cache policy, so that's a very good, good point. So you can, at home you can turn off the Wi-Fi and, and see how it works. If you're really comfortable with Swift, check out Alamo Fire. If you like it, you know. If you just want to work on the UI and nice things, just use AF networking. Um, that's good enough. Set image with URL is good enough for this assignment. It's very good. I mean, it's just a big library for super small function. You can do it yourself. You can implement it yourself, really, uh, with the request task dot you know the session thing in there. Load the binary data. Set UI image data, and then boom, it's done. Okay, well, sorry for keep you for an extra five minutes. Uh, thank you for finishing the first class. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We have a lot of video. I, I just video this to also practice, you know. But definitely, there are videos in the homework.